What if I told you that Saudi Arabia, a nation traditionally associated with vast deserts and an oil-driven economy, is now at the forefront of groundbreaking innovations that are capturing global attention? The future isn't just approaching Saudi Arabia, it's being meticulously crafted there, reshaping perceptions and setting new benchmarks in various fields. Today, we're delving into the remarkable strides Saudi Arabia is making, turning ambitious visions into reality and redefining what's possible. By the end of this exploration, you might find yourself rethinking everything you thought you knew about progress and innovation. Chapter 1. A City from the Future. The Line. Let's start with The Line, swing Saudi Arabia's most ambitious urban development project. Imagine a city with no cars, no streets, and no pollution. It stretches for 170 kilometers and is only 200 meters wide, but it houses millions of people. The architecture? Straight out of a sci-fi movie. Two massive, parallel skyscrapers covered in mirrors, cutting through the desert like a blade. The line is more than just visually stunning. It's a technological marvel. The entire city runs on renewable energy with solar, wind, and hydrogen powering everything. High-speed transportation systems mean you can travel the entire length of the city in just 20 minutes. Artificial intelligence governs daily operation. Everything from energy distribution to waste management is optimized in real time. Scientists are blown away, not just by the scale of the project, but also by the audacity of its goals. Could dip the line become the template for how humanity lives in an era of climate crisis? Or is it a futuristic gamble too big to succeed? Chapter two, unearthing a 4,000 year old settlement. Saudi Arabia isn't just building cities, it's uncovering ancient one. Near the Kabar Oasis, a French Saudi archeological team recently discovered a 4,000 year old settlement known as Al Nata. Dating back to 2400 BCE, this ancient town features a surprisingly advanced urban layout, complete with multi-story homes, administrative zones, and burial sites adorned with artifacts like daggers, axes, and agate stone rings. This discovery is rewriting history. It reveals how early humans in the Arabian Peninsula transitioned from nomadic lifestyles to organized urban settlements. The implications are profound. What other secrets might this region hold about the roots of human civilization? Chapter 3. Creating Water in the Desert. Next, Let's talk about water. Saudi Arabia is one of the most water-scarce nations on Earth, but they've decided that's no longer going to be a problem. Through groundbreaking desalination technology and cloud seeding program, Saudi Arabia is literally making it rain. Desalination plants in the kingdom are now some of the most efficient in the world, using advanced membrane technology that minimizes energy consumption while producing clean water. But here's where it gets even more mind-boggling. They're cloud seeding experiments. Using planes to inject tiny particles into the atmosphere, they're triggering rainfall in areas that haven't seen a drop in years. Now, here's the big question. If Saudi Arabia can solve its water crisis, could these methods be scaled to save drought-stricken regions in Africa, Asia, and even parts of the United States? Some scientists worry about the unintended consequences of manipulating weather pattern. But for now, Saudi Arabia is proving that no challenge is too big to tackle head on. Chapter four, exporting sunlight. Let's shift gears to energy. For decades, Saudi Arabia's economy has been synonymous with oil, but now they're pivoting to become a leader in renewable energy. The Kingdom's Vision 2030 plan includes the construction of massive solar and wind farms including the $500 billion NEOM project, which is set to become the largest renewable energy hub in the world. Here's where it gets even crazier. Saudi Arabia isn't just aiming to meet its own energy needs. They're planning to export sunlight. Yes, you heard that right. Using advanced hydrogen production facilities, Saudi Arabia can convert solar energy into hydrogen fuel and ship it worldwide. This could completely upend the global energy market, challenging the dominance of traditional energy exporting nations like Russia and the US. And the numbers are staggering. By 2030, Saudi Arabia plans to generate 50% of its energy from renewables. This isn't just an environmental move, it's a strategic pivot 
that could redefine the kingdom's role on the global stage. Chapter 5, Uncovering Ancient Human Occupation in Lava Tubes At Umm Jersen, a vast system of lava tubes in the northern Arabian Peninsula, archaeologists have uncovered evidence of human occupation dating back thousands of years. These caves were used as shelters and trade conduits by Neolithic and Chalcolithic communities between 10,000 and 3,500 years ago. This finding reveals the Arabian Peninsula's role as a cultural and trade hub in ancient times. The use of lava tubes adds a new layer to our understanding of how ancient peoples adapted to challenging environments, further cementing Saudi Arabia as a treasure trove of archaeological wonders. Chapter 6, Pioneering Lithium Extraction from Seawater. Saudi Arabia isn't just innovating on land, it's turning to the seas for resources. The Saudi Arabian mining company, Ma'adin, has piloted a revolutionary process for extracting lithium from seawater. While still in its early stages, this method has the potential to make lithium production far more sustainable. Why is this important? Lithium is a critical component in batteries, and with the global push toward electric vehicles, demand for it is skyrocketing. By developing this technology, Saudi Arabia could position itself as a leader in the renewable energy supply chain, exporting not just oil, but the building blocks of the Green Revolution. Chapter 7, Revolutionizing Food Security. You probably don't think of Saudi Arabia as an agricultural powerhouse, and you'd be right. The arid climate makes traditional farming nearly impossible. But rather than accept this as a limitation, they're using science and technology to rewrite the rules of agriculture. Vertical farming is taking off in Saudi Arabia. Picture skyscrapers filled with plants growing under LED lights with water and nutrients delivered directly to the roots. These farms use 90% less water than traditional methods and can produce fresh, organic food year-round. Then, there's the investment in lab-grown meat, a technology that could revolutionize food production by eliminating the need for traditional livestock farming. But perhaps the most astonishing development is the use of seawater greenhouses. By using desalinated seawater and solar power, Saudi scientists have created a way to grow crops in some of the harshest environments on Earth. Could this be the key to solving global food shortages? Chapter 8, The Mars Connection. Now let's go beyond Earth, literally. Saudi Arabia has joined the space race and their ambitions are out of this world. Partnering with international space agencies, they've set their sights on Mars. The Kingdom's space program is focusing on everything from satellite technology to interplanetary exploration. They're even working on technologies that could enable sustainable living on Mars, like advanced life support systems and renewable energy solution. But why Mars? For Saudi Arabia, the red planet isn't just about exploration. It's about proving that human ingenuity has no limits. If they can figure out how to make life possible on Mars, Imagine what they could bring back to Earth. Chapter 9, The AI Revolution, Saudi Arabia's Vision for the Future. When you think of artificial intelligence, you might picture Silicon Valley or tech hubs in the West. But Saudi Arabia is stepping into the global AI arena with a bold vision to become a leader in AI research and development. The kingdom has invested billions in AI-driven projects across healthcare, transportation, and even urban planning. One of the most ambitious initiatives is the launch of the Saudi Data and Artificial Intelligence Authority, SDAIA, established to oversee the integration of AI technologies into various sectors. Their goal, to position Saudi Arabia as a global AI powerhouse by 2030. In healthcare, Saudi Arabia is leveraging AI to revolutionize diagnostics, patient care, and drug development. Imagine a world where AI can predict health conditions before symptoms even appear. Saudi researchers are already using AI models to detect diseases like cancer at early stages, which could dramatically increase survival rates. In transportation, AI is set to transform urban mobility with autonomous vehicles. Saudi Arabia is already testing driverless cars and buses in cities like Riyadh, aiming to reduce traffic congestion, cut emissions, and improve efficiency. These smart vehicles communicate with each other, adjusting routes in real time based on traffic conditions 
and pedestrian movement. But AI isn't just about improving services. It's also about creating new industries. Saudi Arabia is fostering a thriving AI startup ecosystem, attracting entrepreneurs and tech talent from around the world. The kingdom is betting that AI will be a major driver of its economic diversification beyond oil. And they're putting their money where their vision is. The big question now is, how will AI shape Saudi Arabia's future? With its large-scale investments, innovative projects, and forward-thinking leadership, the kingdom is on track to become a global leader in AI. Could this be the technology that propels Saudi Arabia into the next phase of its transformation? Chapter 10, Exploring Renewable Tourism and Eco-Innovation. Saudi Arabia is not just innovating in urban design and energy, but also redefining what sustainable tourism means. The kingdom has introduced groundbreaking ecotourism projects that blend luxury with environmental preservation, aiming to set a global example. Take the Red Sea Project, for instance. Stretching across 22 islands, this mega-tourism initiative prioritizes renewable energy and environmental conservation. The goal? To achieve a carbon-neutral footprint while offering high-end resorts, underwater hotels, and pristine natural experiences. Solar and wind power fuel the islands, while advanced waste management systems ensure zero environmental impact. In the ancient region of Alula, Saudi Arabia is preserving archaeological heritage while creating eco-friendly attractions. Visitors explore rock-hewn tombs and ancient cities while staying in resorts powered by renewable energy and built with sustainable materials. Then there's Emaala, a wellness and luxury retreat along the Red Sea, designed as a hub for marine research and coral reef restoration. Ecotourism here isn't just about limiting damage, it's about actively restoring ecosystem. By focusing on sustainable tourism, Saudi Arabia is doing more than attracting visitors. It's setting a precedent for how tourism can thrive without compromising the planet's future. Could these projects redefine global tourism standards? Time will tell, but Saudi Arabia's approach is already making waves. Chapter 11, the rise of biotechnology in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is now making headlines in biotechnology, a field poised to revolutionize healthcare, agriculture, and even environmental restoration. The kingdom is investing billions in biotech research to diversify its economy and tackle some of the world's most pressing challenges. One flagship initiative is the Saudi Human Genome Program, which aims to sequence the genetic data of thousands of Saudi citizens. The goal? To identify genetic markers for diseases prevalent in the region and develop personalized treatment. By combining genome sequencing with AI, Saudi researchers are making breakthroughs in early disease detection and precision medicine. In agriculture, Saudi scientists are using biotech to engineer drought-resistant crops. These innovations are critical in a country where water scarcity is a major challenge. Imagine farms where crops thrive in arid soil thanks to bioengineered seeds. Saudi Arabia is turning that vision into reality. The kingdom is also venturing into biofabrication, using living cells to produce sustainable materials. From lab-grown leather to biodegradable plastics, Saudi biotech startups are exploring eco-friendly alternatives to conventional manufacturing. But perhaps the most ambitious effort is in environmental biotechnology. Saudi researchers are developing bioremediation techniques to clean up oil spill and restore damaged ecosystems. Could biotech be the key to reversing the environmental impact of decades of oil production? Saudi Arabia is betting on it, with the potential to reshape industries and improve lives Biotech is quickly becoming a cornerstone of Saudi Arabia's vision 2030. The question is, how far can they take it? If their current trajectory is any indication, the future looks groundbreaking. Chapter 12, Saudi Arabia's breakthrough in renewable hydrogen technology. Saudi Arabia is making waves with its green hydrogen initiative, Zrenia, a technology that could revolutionize the global energy landscape. 
as part of its vision, 2030D. Serenia, the kingdom has committed to becoming a world leader in hydrogen energy, investing billions into projects that aim to make hydrogen production cleaner, more efficient, and cost-effective. The jewel of Saudi Arabia's hydrogen push is the Neom Green Hydrogen Project, swing the largest green hydrogen plant in the world. Powered entirely by renewable energy sources like solar and wind, this facility will use electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The result? A zero-carbon fuel that can power everything from vehicles to entire cities. What's more, Saudi Arabia plans to export hydrogen in the form of ammonia, swing, a stable compound that can be easily shipped worldwide. This positions the kingdom not just as a major producer of green hydrogen, but as a global supplier, fueling the decarbonization of industries in Europe, Asia, and beyond. Green hydrogen isn't just about reducing emission. It's about enabling a future where renewable energy can power sectors like shipping and aviation that are notoriously hard to decarbonize. With its vast deserts providing endless sunlight and wind, Saudi Arabia has the natural resources to dominate this emerging market. Scientists are also excited about the innovation happening in hydrogen storage and distribution. Saudi researchers are developing advanced materials to safely store hydrogen at lower costs, making it more practical for widespread adoption. If successful, these hydrogen initiatives could cement Saudi Arabia's place as a leader in the global energy transition, ushering in a new era of clean power. Could green hydrogen become the oil of the 21st century? Saudi Arabia seems determined to make it happen. Chapter 13, Saudi Arabia's investment in quantum computing and advanced technology. Saudi Arabia isn't just catching up with the technological frontier, it's aiming to lead it. One of its boldest moves yet is in quantum computing, a technology that promises to revolutionize everything from artificial intelligence to secure communications and energy optimization. The kingdom, through partnerships with global tech leaders and research institutes, is investing heavily in building quantum computing capabilities. Saudi Arabia's King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology KACST has launched quantum research programs to explore practical applications in energy, finance, and logistics. By harnessing quantum computing, they're working on solving complex problems that conventional computers can't handle, like optimizing renewable energy grids or predicting climate patterns with unparalleled accuracy. In addition to quantum computing, Saudi Arabia is venturing into nanotechnology and robotics. With investments in nanotech, they're developing advanced materials for construction, energy storage, and even medical applications such as nanobots that could revolutionize treatments for diseases. The NEOM project is also incorporating quantum and advanced technologies to enhance its infrastructure. Imagine a city powered by AI and quantum systems capable of predicting and adapting to human needs in real time. From fully autonomous supply chains to hyper-efficient energy distribution, NEOM is set to be a living laboratory for futuristic technology. By investing in quantum computing and advanced tech, Saudi Arabia is laying the groundwork for a future where it isn't just participating in the technological revolution, it's shaping it. Could the kingdom become a global hub for quantum innovation? With its current trajectory, it's a question of when, not if. The big picture. From ancient civilizations to cutting edge science, Saudi Arabia is proving it's much more than a land of sand and oil. Whether it's discovering hidden settlements, identifying new species, or developing world-changing technologies, the kingdom is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Is this the dawn of a new golden age for Saudi Arabia? Or are we witnessing a bold experiment that could reshape the global future? One thing is certain, Saudi Arabia isn't just participating in the race for progress, it's aiming to lead it. If these revelations blew your mind, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories shaping our world. Which of these developments fascinated you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for our next video on the incredible innovations transforming our planet. See you next time.